Obloquy, or The Trilogy Comes to an End. Yesterday is lying on the floor, throat slit and gasping for poisoned air. Tomorrow runs screaming out the door. Our man Tuesday stands, chest filling and emptying, temper rising to never fall. He has a dagger in his bloody hands and carmine eyes. Flames shoot out of his nose and smoke billows out of his mouth. There is no reason, no control in his mind. Just chaotic rage. Understanding is dead and gone. He screams and it shatters his crystal goblets and glass mug. He picks up his stool from his desk and throws it into his shelf of CDs and kicks his foot through the window. Slamming his fist into his posters and concert ticket covered walls. Throws his Halloween collection to the floor. Unzips his pants and pulls out his tiny cock pissing all over. Knocks his screenplays from the shelves, tearing the pages, tossing them and all of his books read and unread into a pile. Takes the knife and slashes through his photo albums, slicing the emulsion and paper throats of his friends. He takes a machete to his DVDs and VHS cassettes, destroys his posters, buttons, and childhood art projects, all art created merely for the sake of it. He screams again, but this time it is silent. But the inaudible sound waves cause ripples in the confetti of torn pages filling the room. He takes a bottle of whiskey, gulps down a large swig, and he spins arms outstretched like a sprinkler. He sprays the walls and floors. Yearbooks in his new bed doused in gasoline, soaking all the sheets, ready to fulminate. He is nothing he was. He is everything he is destroying, dying to be reborn, lighting a match with the fire of his breath, tossing it into the kindling, love letters from all those girls. It takes light. He rips off his black bracelet on his left wrist, but leaves the silver one on his right, a small token, a reminder of what he is killing today, digs his nails into the fabric of his clothing, tearing them from his body, shredding them and scarring himself. His clothes fuel the burn, and his dick hangs freely, downs one more swig of whiskey and pours the rest over his flaxed cock, disinfecting it and erasing its memory of the women it has stabbed. He bursts through the front door and walks into the yard, sky burning down, the house engulfed in flames, flames licking the heavens above, Machete still in hand, he skips into the street, chopping down the streetlights, so they will never come on again. He laughs, a crazed laugh, knowing this is the end of the end and it will never begin again. The house burns down as his cock goes erect. He strolls into this new world after killing what and who he was, walking out into this world with one final primal scream and his fist raised in the air.